What you see on the top left is a mod because I'm using Forge for Minecraft 1.20.1. So yeah, you could install Forge for Minecraft 1.20.1 already. And that's exactly what I'm going to teach you in this video, how to download and install Forge, and how to fix any issues you might have along the way. Let's go ahead and get started in adding mods to Minecraft 1.21.1. Now, the first step to download Forge for Minecraft 1.21.1 is to click the second link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install Forge. Now, feel free to read through the guide, but if you just want to follow along, scroll down to step one and click download Forge here. That is going to redirect you over here, where as you can see, you have 1.21. 21 selected but you actually want 1.21.1 so go ahead and click on that version that you desire here on the top left and then once it says 1.21.1 in here click on the installer button right here that is going to redirect you over here where you're going to have to wait five seconds okay just wait five seconds don't click anything else and then you're going to click the skip button right on the top right in here go ahead and click that button and that is going to begin the download automatically for the forge installer now let's go ahead and wait for that forge installer to download and if you want to use forge and mods online and create your own server and on the server click on that first link in the description to get 25 percent off with Apex Hosting. Apex Hosting will support Java or Bedrock servers. They actually support over 200 mod packs already with just a click of a button. And something that I personally love besides them actually having secure online servers is that they have locations all around the world. So no matter where you are, you don't have to worry about lagging. Something pretty cool about Apex Hosting is that you could actually access the server console, create the server and kick people out of the server, change the server settings, whatever you want to do, you could do so through your phone. That's something I personally love about Apex Hosting because you could be away from the house and stuff and still be able to change everything around your server through the server console. Again, I'm going to leave that first link in the description for you guys to sign up and get 25% off your first level with Apex Hosting. And now let's keep going with the tutorial. Now, once Forge downloads, I want you to go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. You should see it here on your recent download history. And this right now is just a Forge installer. If you only want to install Forge and you don't want to add any mods or anything, just go ahead and double click that and install it. But in this tutorial, I'm also going to teach you how to install a mod just so we could test it out because we don't want to install Forge and then that's it. We want to install Forge and test out Forge to see if it's working. In this specific case, we're going to install Saito's minimap. But if you have any other mods, that you want to try with Forge, just go ahead and put them on the side while we get to the process of installing Forge. Okay, now click on the third link in the description if you want to follow along and install a mod like I'm about to, and just go ahead and scroll down to step one and click download Saito's minimap. That is going to redirect you over here where you're going to look for the Forge version of Saito's minimap for the 1.21.1 version. Now, if you don't know how to get there, you can look for it in here or you can just change all game versions to 1.21.1 and then just find the Forge instance. As you can see in this case, it's right here, right under below mod loader, and you could even change the categories in here the filters to have only the forge one so it could even be more specific okay now once you locate it click on these three dots in here and click download file and that'll begin the download of the file within five seconds again most of the times you have to wait five seconds so go ahead and wait five seconds and after five seconds the file should download just like you saw in here and let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop just like we did with the forge installer now we are ready to keep going now the first thing you want to make sure you do is close your minecraft game as well as your minecraft launcher but not before you have played minecraft 1.21.1 at least once in your computer it is extremely important that you do that and then you want to go ahead and right click on Forge in here on your desktop, click open with and select Java. That is going to open the Forge installer. And if by any reason you don't have Java to open Forge with, don't worry because I'm going to show you how to fix that in a second. Anyways, those of you that managed to open the Forge installer, go ahead and select install client and hit OK and that will begin the installation of Forge. But if you don't have Java to open Forge, you will need to install Java 21. Now, even if you have an older Java and Forge is not opening, that means you also need to install Java 21. The thing is that after Minecraft 1.20.5, you now need Java 21 for any Minecraft modding for any jar files to open which forge is a jar file you even need java 21 to create a server for newer minecraft so i'm gonna leave this link in the description installing java is pretty simple you just download it and then you hit next a couple of times and that's it you will have java on your computer and then you'll be able to open the forge installer again it is a requirement so i'm gonna leave that link in the description now once forge finish installing you'll see it in here it says successful install click ok and then you can now even delete the forge installer as we don't need it anymore now the next step is to add mods to forge this is where you want to locate all those mods that you have in your computer that you want to add to Forge. It could be Saeros or it could be something else. Doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and add those mods into Forge. To do that, we're going to actually open the Minecraft launcher. Now, when the Minecraft launcher opens, if you install Forge properly, you should see it selected here automatically. However, it doesn't matter because we're still going to head over to installations and we're going to make sure we see Forge in here. To see Forge in here, you have to make sure modded is selected. And if that still doesn't bring up Forge for you, just click on new installation, name this whatever you want. Like for example, Apex O, since that will give you 25% off your first server using the first link in the description. And then for version, you want to type in Forge and select Forge 1.21.1. As you can see, it's the most recent one for me. And then you're going to hit create here on the bottom right. And that is going to add an instance of Forge for you in here. Whatever the case might be, either if you added Forge yourself or if it was here after you install it properly, we're going to hover over Forge and we're going to click on this little folder that appears right next to the play button. That is going to open a folder that has a lot of files in here, but we're specifically looking for another folder within this folder called mods, M-O-D-S. And as you can see, my mods folder is here, but guess what? 
I'm actually gonna delete it and you might be wondering why well I deleted mods because I want to show you that even if you don't have the mods folder in here you could usually create it yourself so just click on new click folder and just create the mods folder yourself just name it mods okay mods that's it it's that simple either find the mods folder or create it now go ahead and open it you want to minimize the browser real quick so we could drag and drop the Saeros minimap or whatever mods you want to use with forge so just go ahead and grab and drop those mods into this folder okay now we added Saeros into here any other mod that you want to add to here make sure it is compatible with forge 1.21.1 so you can't have fabric mods in here or neoforge they all have to be forge mods and they all have to be 1.21.1 and they have to be compatible with each other and you always have to make sure you have java 21 installed now once that's done let's go ahead and close out from this folder delete Saeros minimap from your desktop as you already added it into the mods folder and now head back into the minecraft launcher and launch forge you might get a little prompt in here just go ahead and hit that you understand the risk and hit play again and let's go ahead and wait for forge to open it so we could test out the mods now once minecraft opens you know that you're in forge because it literally says that everywhere like forge beta forge down here it says mods in here so we know that we're in forge we're actually gonna open the mods area in here to see if Saeros is here as you can see it is so let's go ahead and hit done head over to a world it could be a single player or a multiplayer world as Saeros will actually work in both multiplayer servers and on your own world because it is a client side mod as you can see we're inside a cave in here for uh thumbnail purposes but let's go ahead and change the game mode real quick and as you can see anyways on the top left you could already see that Saeros is working and if I actually press for example Y the letter Y on your keyboard will actually open the settings for Saeros. So Saeros is working. As you can see on the top left, it's a great mod actually. You could actually see the whole cave system where I'm at right here and you could customize it too. So you can move the location of Saeros. You could turn it into a circle, minimap, uh, change the size, whatever you want to do. So we know that Forge is working and our mods are working. That is pretty much how to download and install Forge for Minecraft 1.21.1. I hope this video helped you. If it did, don't forget to subscribe and as always, bye bye.